What's up, YouTube? This is my first uh, tutorial video. I'll show you how to get some more juice out of this uh, Lenovo Z575 um, with the AMD A6 processor. There's uh, also other laptops like the HP got pretty much the same specs. Mine, I upgraded it to uh, 8 gigs of RAM. Got Windows 7 uh, Ultimate 64 bit and 120 gig uh, solid state drive. Um, shows 1.5. I'm gonna show you how to overclock that to 2.2 and uh, boost to 2.6. Um, stable, as you can see. Um, I haven't creeped over 66 Celsius, and I've been doing quite a few things on here. Um, plus, I'm recording. You can see uh, it's not right on 22, 26, but you can see I boosted it up here. Um, some things I tried to boost over for some reason kept crashing. Everything gets really hot, heats up. I don't need that doing it. Just trying to have it clean, stable, running like this, almost as if it's factory. So um, you can also see that I got um, the new AMD Catalyst installed and running smoothly. And after I did that, I got 6.7 from I think it was 5 or 5.5 on the graphics. Um, got this for both of these and with the overclock I'm at 7.0 um, I've been going back and forth with uh, Stephen Hutchins here on YouTube he uh, supposedly got his uh, processor to 7.2 on this index um, I believe he's got an HP with the same specs but the Lenovo I don't know I've been having problems with other people having problems too so I'm making this video Okay, let's see here. First thing you want to do is uh, go into your control panel, um, go into your programs, uninstall your AMD, all your AMD Catalyst uh, files in there. Once you do that, restart your computer in safe mode. Um, well, before you do that, let me see. You want to go download Driver Fusion. Um, I'm going to put all the links in the description. You're going to want Driver Fusion, and it's going to do is clean up all the files left over from the uninstall that you know Windows didn't get to. So you're going to open up Driver Fusion in safe mode. So you're going to restart your computer, hit F8, and go into safe mode. The AMD display, then you're going to analyze hopefully whatever is left over. No need to register this or go premium or anything like that. Just go in here, delete all it'll delete, and uh, you should be alright. Once you do that, you uh, let's see here. You want to get what I'm using is the 12.11 version of the AMD Catalyst with a, uh, well, I guess, Cap 2. Um, I'm going to put a link to that bottom of the video, which is basically right here. Just pick your whatever version Windows you got, or even Linux, I guess. I don't know, use that, don't mess with it. Um, what's it going to do after that? Then you want to go. Type reg edit. Go in here. Which, and then after that, you want to hit Control F, and then uh, type in enable ULPS. Oh, back that up. You want to open up. Make sure you select computer. Now hit Control F. I can enable this. My next. Give it a minute.
a lot of files to go through. You know, you find this one, usually yours will say, it'll have a 1 right here. What you want to do is go in there, change this value data, it'll, it'll say 1, or you want to change it to 0. Hit OK. Let's see here. Next one. Enable Alt and A. Um, what you want to do there is uh, not mess with that. Leave that to one. Um, best way to do this, you need you need more directions. Uh, initially, you want to thank this guy because this is where I found this information at on this form. I'll also put a link to this. Um, this is one of the last parts you want to do. So, you want to keep going. Leave enable oh, an A alone. Hit F3. Change this one to 0. It'll say 1. Hit F3 again. This one probably say 1. Make it a 0. Change this value to 0. Change this value to 0. Leave this a 1. All NAs leave them 1. Change this to 0. Leave that 1. I'm just going to go down the line. Alright, so it's done. Man, let's see here. What am I, am I missing anything? Once you do that, I believe uh, you want to go in, turn your crossfire off completely. Um, if you still have problems, um, you can also uninstall the AMD Catalyst controller. Um, it'll still leave the graphics, you just won't be able to adjust any of the graphics settings. Um, it'll still be powerful. Let's see. After that, restart your computer. Load it up. You want to get Fusion tweak Tweaker. I'll send a, put a link in the description on that. Um, show you my settings. You'll want to copy these settings probably. This is what's been running the most stable. No crashes, no overheating, no, nothing. No freezing on shutdown. Um, no freezing on doing my uh, Windows Experience Index, which usually happens. P0, 7 to be settings. Down the line. So this isn't a video, I'm uploading this HD, so you can pause the video, check the settings, change what you need, and uh, that's it, just mess up with the P0 to P7, and hit apply, service, you want this thing to run like this all the time, make custom PC settings permanent, hit update, leave this checked, apply, basically anytime the computer starts up, it's going to have these settings. And that's about it. That's about all I did. Um, getting all the juice I can out of this. Then I pretty much downloaded a Razer Game Booster for video games. I heard this is the best. Still haven't tried it out, but it does seem to be the most simple. Um, you can look into this one. I'll have a link in the bottom for this too. So, hope I helped you out. Hope your computer doesn't crash. You can do this at your own risk. Uh, not responsible for anything that happens. So, good luck.